In this video, I'll demonstrate another example of finding the inverse of a rational function. We have the function f of x is equal to the quantity x minus 7 divided by the quantity x plus 3. To find the inverse, we first replace f of x with y to get y is equal to the quantity x minus 7 divided by the quantity x plus 3. Then we interchange the x and y variables. This gives us x is equal to y minus 7 divided by y plus 3. Now our goal is to solve for y. We first eliminate the fractions by cross multiplying, which gives us x times y plus 3 is equal to 1 times y minus 7, or just y minus 7. Distributing on the left, we get xy plus 3x is equal to y minus 7. To solve for y, we need all the terms with y on one side and everything else on the other side. We have some choices. We can take the y terms to the left or to the right. I'm going to do both to show you that it looks different, but the answers are still the same. So let's first begin by subtracting y to get xy minus y is equal to, and now I'm going to subtract the 3x to move it to the other side to get negative 3x minus 7. And now I have y in both of those terms, so I'm going to factor out the y so that I can get it by itself on one side. If I factor out the y from xy minus y, I'm left with y times x minus 1 is equal to negative 3x minus 7. So now to solve for y, I can divide each side by x minus 1. Therefore, y is equal to negative 3x minus 7, all divided by x minus 1. Therefore, f inverse of x is equal to negative 3x minus 7 in the numerator, divided by the expression x minus 1. Let's suppose that you took the y terms to the right side of the equation. So an alternate step would be to say that we're going to add 7 to each side and take the y terms over by subtracting xy. So that would give us 3x plus 7 is equal to y minus xy. So we get 3x plus 7 equals, and then we factor the y out from those terms to get y times 1 minus x. Now we can divide each side by 1 minus x to solve for y. So therefore we get 3x plus 7 divided by 1 minus x, which is equal to y, or f inverse of x. Now notice those are the same thing, because negative 3x minus 7, notice that I can factor out a negative 1 and write that as 3x plus 7 divided by x minus 1. And so that negative factor can actually be applied to the denominator to get 3x plus 7 over negative x plus 1 which is the same thing as 3x plus 7 over 1 minus x. So even though the expressions look different, they are actually equivalent.